Hello and welcome to 2-4. Today we're going to be talking about equations and their solutions. Uh, our goal is that you'll be able to determine whether a number is a solution of an equation. And I really like this balance picture. Okay, so when we look at an equation, it has an equal sign. And now that equal sign is the space between. So oftentimes you'll hear me say, I have to do it to each side. And that's and what I mean by that is each side of the equation. Okay, so this would be an example of a, a, a balanced equation. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So on both sides of the balance is 5. That is an equal, equal equation. Now over here, 4 times 2, that's 8. 8 is heavier than 6, so this is not an equation. Not a solution for the equation, I guess I should say. So, it is not a hard concept, but what I am looking at, and please remember this, what I am looking at is to teach you some good habits. Okay, I'm looking at your work and your process more than I am looking at can you find the answer, because I'm sure you can find the answer to all of these in your head pretty quickly, but that's why I'm trying to look at your work instead of just your answer. All right, so let's go over our vocabulary. As always, please make sure you write your vocabulary into your notebook. Here we go. An equation is a mathematical statement in which two expressions are equal. Therefore, it has an equal sign. We've been talking about expressions for a while, and we know expressions do not have an equal sign, but an equation does. So when we're asking if something is a solution for an equation, we're asking, does the value for a variable make the equation true? Now here's a little example of that. If I have the equation, s plus 15 equals 27, and I'm solving it for s equals 12, then instead of an s, I'm going to put a 12 in there. I'm going to say, do they equal each other? Is this a solution? Does 12 plus 15 equal 27? Yes. So S is a solution because S equals 12 is a solution because 12 plus 15 equals 27. Whereas here, if I'm saying is S equals 10 a solution for this equation, I'd see 10 plus 15 is only 25. So this is not a solution because 10 plus 15 does not equal 27. So like I said before, that's not hard for you to do, but I'm going to really be looking at your work and making sure you're showing each step along the way, because as things get trickier, you're going to need these good habits in order to solve the harder problems. All right, so here we have two. A plus 23 equals 82. So if I was doing this in my notebook, I would write that down. Okay, for a equals 61. So then in, below the a, I'm going to put my 61 in, plus 23 equals 82. Well, my pen's working better today. That's curious. So I'm going to do my work over here on the side uh, because I don't want to ruin everything and, and make things off kilter. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do 61 plus 23. That's 4, 6, and 2 makes an 8. So I would get 84 equals 82. Then I would put a slash through the equal sign, and then I would write not a solution. And that would be my whole answer. So I want to see that you are plugging in the number to see if it is a solution or not. Now let's try another one. So again, I'm going to start by writing my equation down. 60 plus C equals 6 for C equals 10. So right under that C, I'm going to plug in my number. Actually, I wrote this down wrong. It's supposed to be a division sign. So I'll bring down my divided by sign and 60. Let's cross this one out too and make it a division. All right, this makes it a little more tricky. Well, not that much more tricky, but at least it makes sense. 60 divided by 10 is 6 
equals 6. So this one I would just write solution. I don't have to write not a solution. We're not going to do any abbreviating like NAS or S. We're going to write out solution because it is a solution. And that's all we have for this one. Now we have one more word problem to look at. One science book states that a male giraffe can grow to be 19 feet tall. According to another book, a male giraffe may grow to be 228 inches tall. Determine if these two measurements are equal. Now, you guys, these are tricky. Okay, so first we have to come up with our equation. They don't even give it to us. Okay, but I know that 12 feet equals 1 inch. So if I say 12 times, let's say, any kind of foot. Let's, F is going to be feet. So if I have 7 feet, I want to know how many inches it's going to be. I'm going to multiply it by 12. And that's going to give us our inches. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to take 12 times the number of feet. Let's plug in 7. So I have 12F equals I. If I pl plug in 7 for that, I would do 12 times 7 is going to equal I. And 12 times 7 is 484 inches. Okay, and is that true? Yes, I could plug in a 2. 2 times 12 is 24, that's how many inch it is, inches it is. So this is kind of our given, but you still have to come up with it. That's what makes it a little bit tricky. Okay, so if I look, I know 19 feet. So I'm going to say is 12 times 19. Is that equal to 228? Okay, I'm plugging in for my variables. In this one, we have both. We know what both the feet and the inches are equal to. So let's look here and do 12 times 19. Now remember, when you go to multiply the tens digit, you have to put your zero down. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So I'd get an 8. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I would get 228 equals 228. So, are they two measurements equal? Yes, they are equal. Now, this is the trickiest part, you guys, is just figuring out what would your equation be. That's the trickiest part of these word problems because it's not a given. You have to figure it out. Well, what would go? 12 times F equals I is not probably a, an innate, a natural thing that would just pop out of your, your head and go onto the paper. So we've got to think about it a little bit, and that's okay if you take your time to try and come up with that equation. But anyways, that's all that I have for you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.